Thank what you, will Karen. it take to get your vote and what are your red lines? Well, my concern was one of process in uh, having a continuing resolution only last two weeks and come out about the same time that the uh, conference tax cut bill would come to the floor. Uh, that's what we're hoping, that it will be out in the next two weeks. But just from my experience, 13 years in Congress, if you set a spending bill to come due at the same time as a tax cut bill for uh, nearly all the Americans except the wealthiest, then there's a good chance there will be senators that say, you know what, we got this spending bill coming up. You get me this or that, and I will vote for your tax cut bill for the Americans. And we end up having things like the Louisiana Purchase and all the, the kind of uh, efforts to buy senators' votes that sometimes goes on. So I was very, I'm very concerned about having those two come together about the same time because of the kind of uh, really crass greed that comes to the surface when it happens. So that was more my concern um, when Speaker Pelosi. Lucy was the speaker. Uh, she didn't have any problem time to time having mm -hmm. a spending bill that continued the current level of spending as this one is proposing. Uh, but uh, I think uh, the Republican leadership would be thrilled if she said, if you make this modest little change to make sure this is fixed or that, then you'll get lots of Democrats to vote. We would love to hear that. We just don't hear that very often. Congressman, it sounds like what you're saying is that there's some political pay for play going on uh, by juxtaposing and putting them on similar tracks with the tax bill vote and then the yeah. uh, longer term uh, CR. But, le but let, me, let me ask you in a different way, though. The markets haven't really blinked today about the back and forth with the CR in the short term one to December 22nd. Uh, and the markets are eagerly anticipating there to be a tax package by the end of the year. Is there any way at all that the December 22nd deadline and the threat of a partial government shutdown impacts at all lawmakers' ability to pass tax reform by the end of this calendar year? Well, no, I, I don't think it should. Uh, it's possible that there will be senators that will see the two emerge, uh, merging about the same time and want to take advantage of it. We've seen that in the past. That is, We've been seen that in the past, but not to interrupt. But let me ask you, but there's no way, because I think this is an important point for folks watching outside of Washington. There's yeah. really no way that the CR impacts whether or not tax reform gets done by the end of the year. I just want to be really clear for people watching outside of Washington. Yeah. Well, actually, it could if the CR is seen as a vehicle to buy senators' votes. I hope that will not be the case. But let me tell you, this tax reform is so important because we saw for the last eight or nine years, we saw the stock market do very well. Once we got past 08, we saw it do very well. But Americans did very poorly. President Obama admitted for the first time in American history, 95% of America's income went to the top 1%. That had never happened before. We have got to get this tax cut bill done. Uh, Number one, it will be tax cuts for most Americans except for the very wealthy, but it will be mm. the huge cut on what is the largest tariff that any industrialized nation puts on its own goods and right. services. That's what a corporate tax is, a tariff on our own goods and services. But Congressman. That will stimulate jobs and help real Americans. You've been against the Senate's sunset provision when it comes to individual tax cuts. If that goes through in the final bill, will you still be able to vote yes? And, and I'm sorry, the tax cuts for who? The sunset provisions mm -hmm. for individuals individual tax cuts well the individual tax cuts that needs to be there that that will help americans immediately um, i would rather just go to a straight flat tax if you make more you pay more you make less you pay less but that is not where we've gotten the house version gets down to uh, really four brackets but uh, the senate has more uh, that's going to have to be worked out but we certainly don't need to delay the uh, the the cut, dramatic cut in the big tariff we put on our own goods known as the corporate tax. That's really going to help Americans, but so is uh, the individual right. tax cuts. The individual need to be there so that we can help Americans immediately. Yeah. The corporate tax cut will help them dramatically in the next few years.